Imagine a world without the convenience of GPS guiding you on every journey, without the life-saving precision of blood banks during emergencies, or without the vibrant clarity of color on your television screen. This would have been our reality without the genius of black inventors and scientists. From the life-changing innovations of Garrett Morgan's traffic signals to the groundbreaking medical advancements by Dr. Patricia Bath in eye surgery, black inventors have shaped and transformed our daily lives in ways we often take for granted. Get ready to be inspired by the stories of resilience, innovation, and sheer brilliance that have left an indelible mark on our world. Samuel Counts, a trailblazer in kidney transplants, was the first black student at his medical school and made big strides in organ transplant science. He found a way to make transplants last longer and work better, even performing over 500 kidney transplants and starting the biggest research center for it in the US. Philip Emeguali, a Nigerian mathematician, made a huge leap in technology by creating the world's fastest computer in the late 1980s, which helped advance the internet. Despite facing challenges, including living in refugee camps and studying without regular schooling, he moved to the United States on a scholarship and excelled in mathematics and engineering. His groundbreaking work on using a massive number of microprocessors together earned him the top computing prize in 1989, and his innovations have influenced everything from oil reserve calculations to climate change predictions. Frederick Jones was an African-American inventor who created the mobile refrigerator, changing how we transport food and medicine worldwide. Despite dropping out of school at 16 and teaching himself mechanics and electronics, Jones developed a cooling system for trucks that helped start the frozen food industry and improved health standards for perishable goods. His invention, crucial for long-distance transport and wartime medical needs, led to over 60 patents and numerous honors before his death in 1961. Arthur Lewis, who won the Nobel Prize in economics in 1979, spent his life studying how to improve the economies of developing countries. Born in St. Lucia, he became a leading figure in economics, teaching at prestigious universities and advising newly independent countries on their economies. His work, especially the Lewis model of economic development, has greatly influenced how countries transition from agricultural to industrial economies, earning him recognition as the father of development economics. Otis Boykin, an African-American engineer, made a crucial invention used in many electronic devices, including the pacemaker. Despite not finishing his degree, he improved the resistor, a component that controls electricity flow, making electronics more reliable and affordable. His work led to a special resistor that is essential for pacemakers, helping millions of people with heart conditions. Valerie Thomas, an innovator in aerospace and imaging, has made significant contributions over 30 years, particularly in developing technology for satellite images and 3D imaging. Despite facing obstacles because of her gender and race, she excelled at NASA, leading projects that have had a lasting impact on how we view the Earth and beyond. Her work, including the illusion transmitter, which creates 3D images, continues to influence fields like space exploration and medicine, and she actively encourages young black people and women to pursue science careers. Vivian Thomas, despite facing racial discrimination and financial hurdles that kept him from medical school, became a key figure in developing heart surgery techniques. Working as a technician with surgeon Alfred Blaylock, Thomas played a crucial role in pioneering the surgical treatment for Blue Baby Syndrome a condition that deprives blood of oxygen. His innovative work and teaching impacted many surgeons, yet his contributions were initially unrecognized, though he eventually received recognition for his groundbreaking contributions to medicine. Matthew Henson, an African-American explorer, was the first person to set foot on the North Pole on April 6, 1909, ahead of his team led by Robert Peary. Born in 1866, Henson's early love for adventure and navigation skills gained from working on a ship, prepared him for his historic expedition. Despite Peary receiving most of the credit initially, Henson's crucial role was recognized later, leading to honors, including an invitation to the White House and burial at Arlington Cemetery. Alice Ball, an African-American chemist who lived just 24 years, developed the first effective treatment for leprosy, transforming the lives of millions. Working on Chalmugra oil, she created a less thick and viscous compound that could be easily injected into the bloodstream 
making it a viable treatment option. Despite her early death and initial lack of recognition, her groundbreaking work was eventually credited to her, and she is celebrated for her contributions to medicine. Nathan Graham, a talented individual with a background in mechanical engineering from MIT, played a crucial role in creating the PDF format while working at Adobe. The PDF format, introduced 30 years ago, solved the problem of document incompatibility across different computers and operating systems, ensuring that documents could be shared and printed without losing their original layout. Graham's work has made PDF the go-to method for preserving documents worldwide, significantly easing digital communication and document sharing. Andre Rebusas, an engineer from the 19th century, not only revolutionized warfare by inventing the modern torpedo, but also played a crucial role in the fight against slavery in Brazil. Despite facing racial discrimination, he used his skills and influence to contribute to significant civil projects and the abolitionist movement, investing his own fortune into the cause. His efforts helped bring about the end of slavery in Brazil in 1888, earning him a lasting legacy as a champion for freedom and equality. Marie Van Britten Brown, a nurse living in Queens, New York, during the 1960s, invented the first home security system due to high crime rates and slow police response times in her neighborhood. With her husband, Albert, she designed a system that included a camera to view visitors through different height holes in her door, a way to communicate with them, and a button to alert the police in emergencies. Their invention, patented in 1969, laid the groundwork for modern home surveillance systems used worldwide. Benjamin Banneker, born free in Baltimore in 1731, was a self-taught expert in mechanics and astronomy, known for creating the first clock made in the United States entirely from wood. He played a crucial role in designing Washington, D.C., saving the project by recreating the city's plans from memory after the original planner left. Banneker, celebrated as the first black scientist in modern U.S. history, also used his position to advocate against slavery. In 1976, Professor Jean-Jacques Muyembe was called to investigate a deadly outbreak near the Ebola River in Congo, leading to the discovery of the Ebola virus, although initially his contributions were overlooked. Despite challenges, he continued his research and played a key role in developing a treatment for Ebola, significantly reducing the mortality rate. Muyembe's perseverance and dedication have made him a pioneer in the fight against Ebola, earning him international recognition and leading to the development of an effective cure. In the 18th century, Onesimus, an enslaved African in Boston, shared a life-saving method from Africa to prevent smallpox by using a form of inoculation. This technique, which involved introducing a small amount of the disease to healthy individuals to build immunity, significantly reduced death rates and paved the way for modern vaccinations. Onesimus's contribution, despite facing skepticism and racism, ultimately led to the eradication of smallpox, marking a significant milestone in medical history. Julian Abele was a talented African-American architect who designed many significant buildings, including the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Born into a wealthy family in 1881, Abele faced racial discrimination, but still rose to prominence, graduating from the University of Pennsylvania and contributing significantly to the architectural landscape of Philadelphia and other parts of the eastern United States. Despite working largely unrecognized during his lifetime, Abele's legacy was highlighted in the 1980s, bringing deserved recognition to his contributions to American architecture. Marion Croke is a key figure behind the technology that allows us to make calls over the internet, changing how we communicate globally. Born in 1955, Croke developed her passion for technology early on, leading to a groundbreaking career at AT&T and later Google, where she held significant leadership roles and drove innovation in internet communications. With over 200 patents, including many in voice over IP technology, Croke's work has paved the way for the widespread use of internet calling apps today, such as Zoom, Skype, etc. Suleiman Mboup, a Senegalese scientist, played a crucial role in identifying HIV-2, a variant of the virus causing AIDS, after analyzing blood samples from Senegalese prostitutes in the early 1980s. His discovery highlighted the existence of a less severe form of HIV, primarily found in West Africa, contributing significantly to the global understanding of AIDS. Thanks to his pioneering work, Mboup has become one of the most celebrated African researchers, 
helping Senegal establish effective HIV prevention programs and founding a leading research institute in Dakar. African-American scientists played crucial roles in developing the atomic bomb, a weapon that changed warfare forever. Notably, individuals like Maudi Taylor, Robert Omohundro, and George Reed contributed their expertise in chemistry, physics, and materials science to the Manhattan Project, the secret U.S. effort to build the bomb during World War II. Their work, ranging from isolating fissionable materials to developing detection methods for nuclear weapons, showcases the significant, yet often overlooked contributions of black scientists to a pivotal moment in history. Gladys West, a mathematician born in 1931 in Virginia, played a pivotal role in developing the Global Positioning System, GPS, a technology now integral to smartphones, vehicles, military applications, and navigation for planes and ships. Working for the U.S. Navy, West contributed her mathematical expertise to process satellite data, helping to map the Earth's surface with precision and paving the way for the GPS technology we rely on today. Daniel Hale Williams, an African-American surgeon, made medical history in 1893 by successfully performing one of the first documented open-heart surgeries. After founding Provident Hospital to train black nurses and provide opportunities for physicians of all races, Williams operated on James Cornish, who had been stabbed by opening his chest, repairing his heart, and using antiseptic procedures, leading to Cornish's full recovery. Williams' groundbreaking work not only saved Cornish's life, but also revolutionized surgical practices, making him a celebrated figure in medical history. Jane Cook Wright, an African-American researcher and daughter of a prominent physician, made significant contributions to cancer treatment by pioneering the use of chemotherapy in the mid-20th century. She was one of the first to demonstrate that methotrexate could lead to the regression of breast cancer, greatly improving patient survival rates. Wright's work in developing treatment protocols and her leadership roles, including serving as the first female president of the New York Cancer Society, have had a lasting impact on cancer treatment worldwide, helping millions of patients. Dr. Charles Drew, an African-American physician born in 1904, revolutionized medical history by inventing the blood bank, significantly improving blood transfusion methods. His research led to the development of techniques to store blood for longer periods, enabling large-scale transfusions and saving countless lives during World War II and beyond. Despite facing racial discrimination, Drew's groundbreaking work laid the foundation for modern blood preservation, earning him numerous accolades and a lasting legacy in medical science. In the 1980s, Dr. Patricia Bath, an African-American ophthalmologist, invented a groundbreaking laser treatment for cataracts, allowing millions of people worldwide to regain their sight. Her laser phaco probe technique, which uses a laser to vaporize cataracts and make it possible to replace the lens quickly and safely, transformed cataract surgery. Bath's invention, along with her founding of the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness, showcases her significant contributions to eye care and her pioneering role as the first African-American to complete an ophthalmology residency in the U.S. Gerald Lawson, an African-American inventor from New York City, revolutionized the video game industry in the 1970s by creating the first gaming console that used interchangeable cartridges, the Channel F. This innovation allowed players to use multiple games on the same system, laying the groundwork for the modern video game market. Despite facing challenges, Lawson's determination and ingenuity led to a significant breakthrough in technology, making him a pioneering figure in video game history. Mark Dean, an African-American engineer born in 1957, played a pivotal role in developing the technology that made personal computers more versatile and powerful. At IBM, he co-invented the industry standard architecture, ISA bus, which allowed various devices like keyboards and printers to connect to PCs, and he also contributed to the creation of the color monitor. Dean's innovations, including the gigahertz chip that can perform a billion calculations per second, have significantly shaped the modern computer industry, making him a key figure in the advancement of personal computing technology. Granville Taylor Woods, an African-American inventor, made significant contributions to the development of train systems and communication technology, including the invention of telegraphy for trains. Despite having only a basic formal education, Woods became an engineer and invented over 50 devices, notably improving train safety 
and efficiency by enabling communication between moving trains and stations. His work, which includes inventions like the telephone transmitter and the synchronous multiplex railway telegraph, has left a lasting impact on the transportation and communication industries. Garrett Morgan, an African-American inventor with only elementary education, created the gas mask in 1914 and the first traffic signal system in 1923, significantly impacting safety in emergencies and urban traffic. Despite facing racial barriers, Morgan demonstrated the effectiveness of his gas mask during a rescue operation at Lake Erie, earning him national recognition. His inventions, including the precursor to modern traffic lights, showcase his ingenuity and have left a lasting legacy in public safety and transportation. Raul Nicolo, a brilliant inventor from Guadeloupe, is the reason you can watch multiple TV channels today, thanks to his invention of the multi-channel television block in the 1960s. Beyond television, Nicolo made significant contributions to nuclear energy safety and efficiency, earning him recognition as a leading engineer at France's Atomic Energy Commission. His dedication extended to advocating for Guadeloupe's energy independence and economic self-sufficiency, making him a notable figure in both scientific and political circles until his death in 1993. Louis Latimer, an African-American inventor born in 1848, played crucial roles in the development of both the telephone and the sustainable light bulb. Working alongside Alexander Graham Bell, Latimer produced the technical drawings for the telephone patent in 1876. Later, at Edison Company, he improved the incandescent light bulb by inventing a longer-lasting carbon filament, significantly advancing electric lighting technology. Percy LeVon Julian, born in 1898 in Alabama, overcame racial barriers to become a groundbreaking African-American chemist, notably advancing the use of corticosteroids, which revolutionized the treatment of various medical conditions, like rheumatism and asthma. After facing discrimination in academia, Julian made significant contributions to medical science, including synthesizing key hormones and creating a fire-retardant foam used during World War II. Despite facing racism, including violent attacks on his home, Julian's work in chemistry had a profound impact on medicine, making essential treatments accessible to all and earning him widespread recognition. George Washington Carver, born into slavery in Missouri in 1860, became a leading agricultural scientist and inventor, significantly impacting agriculture and industry with his innovations. Despite facing racial discrimination, Carver developed over 300 uses for peanuts, sweet potatoes, and other crops, improving soil health and providing new economic opportunities for farmers. Honored globally for his contributions, Carver declined lucrative job offers to continue his research, earning recognition from Congress and President Roosevelt solidifying his legacy as a pioneer in his field. Let us carry forward the legacy of these trailblazers by acknowledging their contributions, inspiring future generations, and ensuring that every inventor, regardless of background, is given the recognition they truly deserve. The world is a better place because of their work, and it's up to us to continue building on this foundation of creativity and resilience.